Hello, hello. What? It's another Tuesday here on the YouTubes, and as you can see, I have a pretty special Let's Play series here. Something that I had not counted on doing until I had actually heard news of its impending release last night while waiting for the iPhone 5 pre-orders to open up. This is, as you guys can see, the heavily, heavily anticipated PC mod for Half-Life, the original title, Black Mesa. After eight years, you know, the, the better part of the last decade in development, on and off again, uh, it's finally out, or at least the first portion. As uh, far as I can tell from uh, what the developers have released in their notes, this uh, mod right now currently only goes up to the Lambda facility. Uh, if you're familiar with Half-Life, but uh, again, this is something that's unprecedented. I didn't really count on doing a Let's Play for Black Mesa, but uh, you know, I just had to because of the fact that I have a special connection with with Half-Life, in that it's been the very first first-person shooter that I think that really demonstrated to me the importance of narrative within that particular genre, and it did a darn good job of uh, of doing it. So. I'm going to go ahead and start a new game. I've already adjusted some of the settings here, such as the gamma, the resolution, and the difficulty. I'm going to be playing on normal. I believe Doctor, the, uh, the uh, default is easy, activated. so make sure to change that. As you can see here, I've, I've played through a little bit of it just to see <clears throat> you know, how stable the frame rate is and everything, uh, uh, everything is here on my computer. And uh, the only thing that I've really noticed so far that could be a little bit of an issue is uh, some of the loading sequences that are present within this particular mod. Um, I guess, you know, if, uh, if the Black Mesa team are going to go ahead and, you know, release a new version of this particular modification, it would probably be some kind of optimization on the loading screens, and you'll know it when we come to it, because uh, they kind of break up the pace of this, this excellent prologue sequence that we have here in the tram. If you're not familiar with Black Mesa, it is um, and welcome to the Black Mesa it's a total remake of the original Half-Life with all of its assets you know, completely transferred into Source and optimized personnel. for the Source engine that was uh, you know, released with uh, Half-Life 2. So this is essentially Half-Life 1 running on the Half-Life 2 engine. If you're familiar with Half-Life Source, that was uh, an attempt from Valve to uh, go ahead and uh, you know bring the original Half-Life uh, you know into Source, but not all of the assets, if any of the assets, were optimized for that engine. So uh, it did not really have the look and feel of Half-Life 2. This particular modification was done not by Valve, but by uh, a team of uh, basically freelancers. Uh, Half-Life fans, and uh, as you can see, the uh, the fruits of their labor are quite breathtaking. You know, it's not going to knock your socks off if you've been playing, you know, like Crisis 2, for example, but, um, you know, it's still very impressive, especially for an amateur team. Um, and, as you can see, very, very effective. Sector C test labs and control facilities. If your intended destination is a high security area beyond Sector C, you know, um, you I think one of their stated the goals was to uh, rekindle a sense of nostalgia that train. many gamers of you know who are now in their mid to late twenties had with the original Half-Life, and uh, not only rekindle that sense of nostalgia, but also to uh, affirm it with a new coat of paint and. Like I said before, just a couple moments ago, they've succeeded on that front, at least here in the prologue. It looks pretty darn amazing, especially since, uh, you know, the original Half-Life's graphics, uh, you know, they haven't really aged too well. So, you know, seeing things like, uh, you know, like these decals here, these signs, um, look at the Black Mesa logo on the chair. Uh, seeing them all have a new life, uh, you know, uh, shot into them is pretty thrilling. Anyway, 
Uh, if you guys aren't familiar with the original Half-Life, uh, we are currently entering uh, our first day of work at the Black Mesa Research Facility. We are, of course, Dr. Gordon Freeman. Uh, we hold a, a doctorate in theoretical physics from the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. And uh, it looks like there's, uh, there's already some shenanigans going on. Chopper looks pretty impressive. And, uh, yeah, if you guys are wondering, I think the uh, names in the lower left corner, those are uh, staff members from the Black Mesa team. Uh, so these are the individuals that uh, worked on and off again for the past eight years to, to bring this mod to, to existence. And uh, there's the first aid station and the, uh, the shield, the energy, the suit energy station. Looks like they're... they look great. <laughs> A little bit more glowy than I would have anticipated, but, uh, you know, whatever. It's just a nitpick. Oh, and uh, here's one of those loading sequences that, that I was talking about. Oh, I guess it's not too bad. The second time around. The first time... I played through this mod, at least for this first uh, chapter here. The uh, those loading sequences took I don't know, maybe uh, twenty seconds or so. Maybe it's just my computer, but uh, imagine a twenty-second gap after you know taking all of this, uh, all of this in. Uh, you know, that twenty-second gap can be pretty jarring. And it happened maybe two or three times over the course of this chapter, so it was uh, it was a little disappointing. But hey, you know what? This game is, uh, or this mod is completely free. If you haven't been following the news, it will be on Steam later today if it's not already up by the time I post this video. So check out Steam. Uh, it was greenlit as part of uh, Steam Greenlight. Uh, I think a week ago, so it will eventually be on Steam. Uh, there are download links being distributed on the uh, on the internet uh, for a three gigabyte zip file, and uh, all you need in order to install this game is uh, you don't even need to buy anything from Steam. You don't need to buy the original Half Life or any Source Two game. Or, I'm sorry, just Source Source game. Source Two isn't out yet. But uh, with Eden, you just need to download the uh, Source One game from 2007. Um, I think that's what it's called. But uh, there is there is a set of assets for Source from 2007 that are on Steam for free that you need to download. Uh, I'll go ahead and, and research that a little bit more and try and retrace my steps, and I'll post some instructions down in the video description. Uh, yeah, if you guys have any questions, by all means, definitely uh, you know, leave me a comment and try and get back to you. But, uh, like I said, this is completely free. You know, so if you're bumming on, on uh, Steam, a reminder to all or if you don't want to spend any money this weekend, a good gaming experience, and I say great gaming experience, then uh, definitely check out Black Mesa. Anyway, so we're heading down the uh, final part of the uh, tram sequence here, if I remember correctly. So, uh, as soon as we get off the train, or this tram, uh, I'll be going ahead and putting the video there, and uh, editing and uploading to YouTube. And, uh, yeah, if you're here for my other Let's Play series, Shadows of the Dam, Charter Drake's Fortune, I will uh, eventually be posting at least one video of each of those series today, so... I'm gonna try and uh, cover all my bases here. This again was an impromptu, sequel, uh, an impromptu let's play series for me, so kind of kind of threw a, a wrench in my plans. But uh, we'll see how everything balances out with three games on my uh, on my plate. Anyway, yeah, special thanks to Valve Software for not canceling this project. And uh, I think this is the end of the tram sequence. Yeah, I'm gonna be escorted off of the tram here. Okay, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, you know pause it right here, guys. So definitely check out part two whenever it's up. I'm going to be recording 
uh, pretty much all day after I get some errands done. So, uh, yeah, um, definitely like and favorite and subscribe. And, uh, you know, until we see each other again in the next video, uh, keep it classy and uh, peace out. Thanks, guys.